Remember the Oilers, their first conference final since 2006 and a big overnight signing of Evander Kane. Four years, a little over $20 million. Your thoughts, Colby? I, I love it. I think it's I think it's good for the Oilers. I think that's a huge little spec safe value deal. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And uh, I talked to him at the end of the year. He came through Pittsburgh. They lit up the Penguins. They were storming in the playoffs. I talked to him. I said, last time I saw him, he was 18 years old and he played on my team with the Thrashers. He's completely changed. His body is a man. But what he did in coming in the Oilers, he provided confidence, bravado, a little bit of extra toughness, speed up and down, playmaking, uh, and goal scoring, which we saw him light up the league in the playoffs as well. So you're getting a player like this, who Spec also said is a unicorn. Like, how do you find these guys? And, and then how do you find a guy that I, he told me when I saw him, I'm getting better. I'm just getting better. There's more to come. Could he touch 50 goals? Stays in Edmonton? Possibly. All right, we have about two minutes left. Jennifer, I remember when we were discussing what he, whether he might sign with the Oilers, you had mm -hmm. some trepidation because of his track record. What are your thoughts on a four-year deal? Well, of course. I mean, regardless of his previous uh, controversy that he's been involved with, if you think about just his play on the ice, he's been really solid. And to me, the biggest thing for him is just the pace that he can play with. Mm -hmm. He's proven this season with Edmonton that he can play at that speed with top guys. And for him to have the finish on top of that as well um, is just a, it's a great fit. I mean... Like I said, of course I had questions mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, what's followed him in the past and is that going to linger in terms of the dynamic on the team as well? But if you're just looking at specifics, he's a top-level guy and proved that he can play really well. There's no question about that, Jennifer. And I think the biggest thing going forward, you watch Connor McDavid, you watch Zach Hyman, and obviously you watch Advantage with Kane. That opens up so much more room for Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Leon Dreisaitl. But here's the thing that I think really helped it with the Vander Kane and Edmonton. Zach Hyman is a phenomenal person. Mm -hmm. Connor McDavid is a really solid person. Leon Dreisaitl is a really solid person. He's surrounded by really solid people. He's not going to run off the track here. And this yeah. is pure market value. And I'll say one more thing. They can talk about all the great offensive players they have. Until they fix their goaltending and until yeah. they get better on defense, it Deep. doesn't matter. They need defense. Yeah. They need more defense than people talk about. Yeah. And I think I held uh, Evander to account probably the most on this panel right here, but uh, just his maturation process that he went. I know it's a small sample size, but he is a top, top player, and he's proven that he can adapt into this Edmonton Oilers uh, system here right now. So for me, 40, 45 goals is definitely within reach. Yeah, and no Cassian's gone, right? So he comes in, he's the guy. He's up and down. He can bang. He can crash. He can provide that offense, and he can give you a little bit of a spark. So he's got a little bit of everything that he can provide to this lineup. And, you know, if you're someplace and you feel success and you feel comfortable and they want you, I think you'll see your best of Vander Kane. And I think it's also too in those big moments on how well he played in the playoffs, where it was driving to the net, yep. the finishing touch on a little give and go down, down low. So I feel like in those big moments in playoffs, he came through in the class. Mm -hmm.